Boo here, and today I'm going to be opening up my New York Comic Con Fungal Pop exclusives. I only got four, but one is a gigantic one, and I think there's only one that was huge, which was the Kevin and Up House, which I got. Um, there was only four that I wanted, and I did get all four, luckily. Um, I will tell you guys, like, prices and where I got them and stuff like that once I open them so let's just get right into it because I've had these since for two days now and I've been wanting to open them but I had to film it so I have to open these now. First we have these two. These two are opened already because um, these were purchased off Hot Topic. They were both Hot Topic exclusives but when I when they arrived they were both in a bag. They were shipped in a bag. Why Hot Topic? I have zero clue why. Um, the di There's not really much damage but when I even opened the bag, the sorter boxes were like crunched. I was like, what the freaking heck? Like, why would you do that to me? I'm a good person. But um, this corner is a little crunched. It's not terrible. I know it wouldn't do anything to value or whatever. But these were obviously from my personal collection because I have all Rick and Morty ones. But so we have these two. When I saw they were announced, I absolutely needed them. Um, the, these are obviously the shared exclusive stickers. I like the shared stickers better than the new stickers. But yeah, these are Shrimp Rick and Shrimp Morty. We've never seen them yet because obviously season 4 isn't out yet. But November 10th. Only 5 episodes though, so I don't know what to do with that is. But also on the back here, there is a sneak peek of more to come. And also I can tell you guys that there is going to be a Teddy Rick chase because actually um, I saw it on a website. And it said that it was available, available for pre-order, so... There will be a Teddy Rick Chase along with these ones. So I'm really excited for all these ones. So obviously I need all of them. So I'm really excited about that. Those were my top two for this con. Top two. Then we have this box from Amazon. I only got one from Amazon. This one arrived on Saturday. Oh wait. The total for the two Rick and Morty ones were... They're $15 each, so it was like $30. But actually shipping was only $2. I don't know why. I only spent $2 on shipping and like $1 tax. I paid like $33 total, which is kind of weird, but I didn't complain. And they came in. Um, so I got this one from Amazon. I just got one. This is $22, and I actually pre-ordered this one. Um, a week before the con happened, there was a pre-order for two of the pops that were exclusive to Amazon. And I saw the notification early enough, and I was able to pre-order it. With no problem my cousins got canceled for some reason but he was okay with it but luckily mine didn't and it is correct they upgraded on their shipping and they shipped in the sorter box and I got these along with it so that's fun but yeah so we actually have a sorter box obviously it doesn't say the right thing it says pumpkin Disney pumpkin I don't know that that was their code word for this one Actually, it was lemon. Lemon was the code word on the website. But, if you guys can see here, we have Benson, which is actually on the Funko app says he's like worth like $42, which I don't see why, but not complaining because I have him for retail. So, this is my first time opening this one. I just opened the package. Um, the box is mint because it did come in a sort of box, so thank you, Amazon, for that. I know the Iron Man ones also did. I don't think people, like some people got the Dwight one, but I don't know about that. I don't know. But, I got Benson. He is really cute actually and not really cute he's scary comes with the shared sticker which i do like that it in this con sticker just comes in the toy story 4 box um there's only one more i want from this set which is the gabby gabby with forky but that was a walmart exclusive i just haven't gotten it i'm able to it's on my card but i just haven't gotten it but so i got him so that's fun he wasn't like a must-have he was just a want and i had the money at the time but so that's why i got him but the only must-haves were definitely the rick and morty one okay Last one we have here is from Box Lunch. If you guys, they only had one shared exclusive, I think. Yeah, they only had one. So I was afraid that this one was going to sell out, but I literally think it's still available on the website. Um, it was $50. Why? I don't know. But um, usually I have a dollar shipping with Box Lunch because I have, like, I've spent a certain amount of money, so I'm like a member now. But I did pay full shipping for this one, but I only paid $2 shipping for Hot Topic, so I didn't complain. Because also, six nine five nine nine shipping wasn't bad. I think it was five ninety nine, but um, yeah, I got this pop. I think it was like sixty dollars total, like even like it was like sixty dollars and some change. So that's not terrible. And I just know that I'd never be able to get this at retail again if I didn't buy it now. And if I didn't buy it, I knew I was gonna regret it. So that's why I did so. Cause I was able to. Oh my god, it came in a sort of box. This thing is massive. This is not okay. When they. I kind of had a leaked image of the size of it. I literally wasn't going to get it because 
I have no room for stuff like this. I just don't, but we'll make room. Here it is. It is freaking giant. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, the corner is damaged. The corner is bent in. That is not fun. Like literally like whoever shut it, like it had to happen at Funko. Cause whoever shut it, oh my God. Whoever shut this box was very forceful and literally ripped it. So that's not awful cause it's the bottom, but literally the corner of the box is like completely in. It was like, had to be shipped like that. Cause obviously that was a sealed box. But yeah, here's the pop. The condition is not terrible, just the bottom of it. Um, I absolutely love this. I love that the number is the soda cap. I adore that. The only, the other one that I'm missing um, that was a con exclusive was the Carl and Ellie. I did pass up on that one because I didn't think I wanted it and then I wanted it after. But that one's not like terribly priced. I think it's like $60. But I just haven't pulled the trigger. I'm not going to for a while. Um, I don't have any other up pops but I am I do want to get like Carl and Doug and Russell but I know Carl sheep the certain Doug one because I know there's a flocked one and yeah this one's sick I'm actually gonna take it out of the box because I need to here's the back of the box super duper cute here is the Kevin pop he's obviously small he's really cute though he's very colorful there always there will be better pictures of this stuff on my Instagram at Bailey's blind bag so go there I uh, I just hit a thousand followers on there which is kind of crazy so thank you guys so much for that but this is massive oh my god this is so heavy the paint job is something else okay so this is wild this is so cute this would be so cute out of box but I just I have to keep the box because I already know if I ever sell them like I need the box so that's why I just keep them in box um this is wild this is so crazy there's like even the address and the door and oh my gosh there's also a back door. There's like some extra paint right there. So, hello. But this is wild. The balloons are so heavy. There's actually, the paint is kind of whack on this too. What the freak? I think they were all blue and they just painted over them because there's like blue in everyone. Yeah, so the balloons have a weird paint job. Not mad because it's like on the top so you can't really see it, but you kind of can. Like this is right in the front. But whatever. They also have the cute little like rooster, like with the, com is it a com compass? Yeah, it is. Right, north east. Yeah. Um, so this is just so cute. There's a little hose and everything. Okay, I am happy that I'm got this. This is my first. No, it's not my first pop down. I got one right there. But this is like my first like 10 inch figure. I know the figure is probably actually it probably is 10 inches by itself but the box is gigantic. So this is my first one. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. If you guys want to see another video of me reorganizing my collection because I'm going to have to do that soon because I have too much stuff again. Um, please let me know because I probably will do it even if you don't want to see it. So just putting that out there. But that was all for the New York Comic Con Pops, but I do have some more Pops I want to show you guys that I picked up from different stores and from Mercari, so we're going to hop into that real quick. To show you guys some stuff that I picked up recently, I have a couple, I have a couple new Pops, just a couple. Um, so, if you guys didn't watch my last video of me going on a toy hunt, we, um, or I, when I went to GameStop, I saw these four Pops. And I actually had them pre-ordered from Entertainment Earth, but um, I canceled my pre-order because my order total was like $60 also, which isn't terrible. But also, there was like they still said that they were coming in November, but I was already seeing them in the store, so I just waited. Um, I was going to wait, but I decided not to because also it was buy three, get one free at GameStop. So I got these for like, they're $12 each, so do the math. So I only bought three. I got one for free, but I got all four. We have... Um, Bean. I also have the Bean from the San Diego Comic Con. That was the first pop. But yeah, this is from Disenchantment. Did I even say that? Um, it's a Netflix show. Love it. One of my favorites besides Rick and Morty. So we have Bean, which is way too cute. We have Lucy, which is basically the devil. We have Elfo, which is my favorite one out of this because how freaking adorable is that? And then when I pre-ordered it, I wasn't going to get this one, but I decided to because it was only one and it's King Zog. And I just knew I'd regret it if I didn't end up picking him up. So I picked them up. Super cute. Love those. Got them at GameStop. Also, 
at GameStop, I picked up, I had to, I just had to, I have this Pop Towns Christmas. This one is from the Peppermint Lane from, this is like Funko's brand or Funko's character. This is Frosty Franklin with the post office. Um, this is GameStop exclusive and you can put batteries in the house and it lights up. So that's really freaking fun. There's only um, three or four of the Pop Towns that they made for this. And I only really wanted this one because I like... I, I like pops that aren't like people like the people pops are not my thing like there was also um, pops of like Mrs. Claus and Santa from this set and I just I saw them in person and I was like I'm okay without them like they're cute but I just like the characters that aren't real people so we got this one there's also the mayor Alice Cranberry that's like a restaurant one and then Santa Claus with his house but so this is the postman so here is the second one I got this is from pop Christmas as well this is just the mayor Patty Noble um, it's from peppermint lane um, I saw this one was gonna be a single pop as well and I really wanted it because she has a pop towns but I don't have room for that so I wanted this one the pop towns is really cute though but we're gonna stay away from it so as you can see on the back here there's also mrs. Mrs. Claus and Candy Cane, which is a cat. Santa Claus, and then there's, this is a two-pack. These are of elves, but the two-packs in, is in the size of this box. It just looks like this. Like, this is the size of the box, but there's two pops in it. But they're elves, so they're like mini. They're really cute, but like I said, I just don't like people pop, so I pass on them. And also, the two-pack was like $22 because it's a two-pack, so just to let you guys know that. It's not the same price as a single pop. Two more items before we leave. Uh, or before I leave. Um, I have the snowball, the flock snowball. This is from LA Comic Con exclusive from a couple, I don't know how many ago. Um, I just opened this right now. The seller did not package it very well and it came damaged. Not terrible, but I did get it for, I think, I think $17 shipped or whatever, which is not the greatest price, but that's just not my favorite thing ever. But now I finally have it. I only need two more to complete the set. The, and then I have them all. And then one of my favorite ones, I think, from the set is this. This is the Rick's Ship. This is a Pop Rides. This one was a Hot Topic exclusive, but I found it on Ricari. The retail for this is actually $32.50, but I bought it for $30 shipped. And um, it was a good deal. There's pictures of this opened on my Instagram, so go check that out. But this pop is actually really freaking cool. And on the bottom of the box, in the flap here, it actually says keep summer safe, which I thought was pretty funny because that episode is iconic but I wish they had a pop like I wish I did a pop rides of all of them inside or like Rick like Rick and Morty inside the ship I think that'd be so sick and just have the pops be smaller because this is a normal size pop like the, the Rick's a normal size pop but this one's really freaking sick and I'm so happy I finally have um, if you guys want to see a video of me rearranging my collection I'll probably be doing that no matter what so expect that and yes thank you guys so much for watching please comment down below if you guys have any questions or video requests go follow my social media my username is in the description box down below my Instagram Bailey's Blind Buzz is popping off all the time so go follow me on there so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next Saturday bye guys